For this one, I want to show you all a underappreciated feature called the camera raw filter. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is, of course, we're going to expand this photo right here. And since we're using Photoshop beta, you can now go to the crop tool. And if you hold alt, drag this out and you can switch the modes between the content aware fill to generative fill expand. If you go ahead and click on generate, this will automatically fill in those missing areas. Now, the next thing that we need to do from here is we're going to hold shift, left click on the bottom one, and you want to press control or command and J. We're going to convert this into a smart object and hide the other two. We're going to keep these two as a backup and this is the one that we're going to edit. Now, in order to get to the camera raw filter, we need to go up to filter and then go down to camera raw filter. And straight away, as you can see, everything has been neatly organized into groups. Now, the one feature that I absolutely love is the auto AI masking. If you go over to the icon right here at the top, this will give you the option to select which person you want to focus on. And since there's only one person in this photo, we're going to select person one. Now, the great thing about this is that you also have the option to specifically focus on the skin, the body skin, eyebrows, and so much more. However, at the moment, we're just going to group the facial skin and the body skin together. We can go ahead and click on create, and this will create us a nice, simple mask right here. Sometimes you may not get perfect selections. So as you can see right now, we have certain areas like this one right here, where a little bit is faded. Same goes for the shoulder and also the hair at the top. But that's completely fine because we can easily edit this by going to the add button at the bottom and you want to select yourself a brush. With this brush, we're going to set the size to two, feather on 100, keep the flow on 50 and the density on 100. And all we need to do now is just paint this back onto the missing area. Same goes for this bit right here. And we're also going to do this area at the top. Now for this one, we're just going to decrease the density to 50%. And we're also going to use the square bracket on our keyboard to make the brush larger. We just want to apply a little bit onto this area right here. We can make the size smaller with the end bracket as well and apply it onto this area right here. From here, we're also going to get ourselves a subtract brush and we're just going to soften the edges to make this more faded and softer on the edges. and we have everything selected that we want. Once you're happy with your mask, you can toggle the overlay off and we can start to edit the lighting. We're going to start on the exposure first and just increase this a little bit more to bring some of the light back onto the image. And we're just going to bring back some of the contrast. We can also change the highlights, the shadows, the white colors, and of course the black colors as well. Scrolling further down, we have the color. If we wanted to give this a little bit more of a warm tone to it, we can increase the temperature to a two. We can also change the hue if you wanted to apply a specific color or a specific tint to the actual skin. And we also have the saturation, which I like to set this one around 36 or between 36 to 40. Going further down, we have the curves. Now for the curves, we can adjust the midtones, the shadows and the contrast. We can drag this one down to bring back some of that contrast and also adjust the top one as well. And I would say right about here. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to focus on the eyes at the top because you can see they are really dark. Now for the eyes, we're going to once again create a new mask on this layer. Go back to select people. And this will bring you back onto this menu and we can select the eye. Click on create. We're going to once again hide the overlay, scrolling further down. We're going to 
apply the white color all the way up to 100. And we can also increase the exposure just to brighten them up a little bit more. We can also focus on the actual iris and the pupil just by going back onto the create mask, select people and get yourself the iris and pupil. Click on create and for this one we're just going to also increase the exposure. Scrolling further down for this one we are also going to increase the texture, the clarity and also change the dehaze to let's say minus 13. You can already see a huge difference between before and after. It just makes the eyes really pop and stand out. The next mask that we're going to focus on is the lips. And for this one, we're going to go back onto here, select the lips, click on create. We're going to hide the overlay. And once again, just increase the exposure. We're going to give this one a nice 36 saturation. And for this one, we're going to focus on the reds and really push those reds and make them visible. Add in some shadows and also adjust the top one as well. And then finally for the jewelry, what we're going to do for this one is create a separate mask because for this one, if you have a look in the people, you don't really have any jewelry selected. And in this case, that's completely fine because we can create a brand new select subject mask. And what this will do is it will allow us to actually select this area of the necklace right here. And all we need to do is simply paint onto the necklace. This will automatically detect the subject that you want to focus on. Same goes for this one. And also the earring as well. Now for this one, we may need to decrease the size a little bit and just only focus on smaller sections. For the necklace, we're just going to hide the overlay. And for this one, we're just going to scroll further down and once again, increase the exposure. Put this one to, let's say 60. We're going to give it some contrast. We can adjust the highlights, the shadows, the whites, and also the black colors as well. We're going to give this one a 36 saturation. And then finally, the last change is of course the hair as well. We're going to create a new mask, go to select people and select the hair. Click on create. And for the hair, we're just going to bring this one back to life. We're going to increase the exposure once again for this one. We're going to change the contrast, the highlights, the shadows, the whites, and the black colors as well. We're also going to give it a 36 saturation. And the one problem that you may run into, especially when it comes to hair, you can see that the edges are making the background light as well. And this makes it really stand out and doesn't look great. In order to remove this, all we need to do is go to subtract, click on the subtract brush, and we're going to show overlay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to remove these gaps and soften these areas. And if we toggle this off, you can already see it's looking better than before. And then finally, once you're happy with the changes and you're ready to save this, you can go to convert and save image. We can give this a name, select yourself the folder and click on save. You can then click on okay, and this will apply the camera raw onto your image. 